Peace be with you and welcome to our novenas. This is the sixth section. We hope to do nine for the pandemic. Let's begin with this beautiful hymn, Lord, make me an instrument. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from Him through the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. Petition set, six. The response is, Mother Mary, pray for me. That they will not give in to peer pressure or mixed with the wrong company in school and in the neighborhood. Mother Mary, pray for me. That those who are addicted to pornography or hooked to electronic games will be set free. Mother Mary, pray for me. That they may make use of social media in a responsible and constructive manner. Mother Mary, pray for me. That they will be filled with Christian charity to serve the less fortunate and the abandoned. Mother Mary, pray for me. That they may find strength and patience in caring for their aged parents and family members. Mother Mary, pray for me. That they will have courage and support to raise their children in the values of the gospel. Mother Mary, pray for me. That we will be more conscious in promoting peace and harmony in our country and in the world. Mother Mary, pray for me. That we will always create a safe environment for all members of our church and society. Mother Mary, pray for me. That we do our part in keeping our public places clean and beautiful for everyone to enjoy. Mother Mary, pray for me. That those who are separated, divorced or widowed may find hope and strength to move on with their lives. Mother Mary, pray for me. That those in broken relationships will not harbor hatred and bitterness in their hearts. Mother Mary, pray for me. That the brokenhearted will continue to walk in faith 
and experience God's love and mercy for them. Mother Mary, pray for me. That those who have been released from prison and drug centers receive the necessary support and care for their family, the church, and society. Mother Mary, pray for me. Let us now pray for our own intentions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and grant them to the prayers of Mary, our mother. Amen. Let me now share with you some of the letters that have come to our parish. Dear Mother, please intercede for me as my cousin is having difficulty in making his decision for his future. He's grateful to his benefactor, but now he has to leave and go for a good job. Please give him the strength to leave her. Dearest Mother, Thank you for all the blessings that have been bestowed upon me and my family. Today I would like you to intercede for the whole world which is going through a hard time. Please clear the world of this pandemic. Please also keep the frontliners safe, especially the doctors, nurses, cleaners and all who are directly involved with the COVID-19 patients. Thank you, Mother, your Catholic daughter. Dearest Mother, you have seen families today struggling for a living, families with young children waiting for the next meal, families with disabled members needing treatment. Mother, you hear their cries of despair and fear for the future. Through your intercession, bring upon them the compassion of Jesus, your Son, and hope of better days. Dear Mother, I would like to ask you for strength to be able to cope with my studies, especially for the second and third semester. The strength to be able to focus in class and tuition every day. Next, my sport. I want to participate in Sukma and also win a medal for my country. Dearest Mother, please bless all the people that have been taken to heaven. Be with your family in prayer and give them strength to overcome this period. Thank you for being with my family and the illness within us. Give us strength to overcome the obstacles that we need. Some letters of thanksgiving. Dear Mother Mary, I want to thank you with all my heart for whatever I have discovered or you have made me discover during the MCO. There are so many things I just can't put a list that I didn't understand or never accepted or attempted to know due to my busy schedule. I have become a better cook, a calmer mother, a grateful wife, and most of all, an understanding friend. I have begun to understand myself and those around me I can now sieve who I should be with or avoid. Most of all, Mother, I discovered the true meaning of the Bible and the life of St. Faustina and her diary. Your ever grateful daughter. Dearest Mother, I take this opportunity to write to you online for the very first Thanksgiving letter. Over the years, I have never got to pen to thank you for the many blessings and always watching over me and my family. With you being there, you strengthen my faith in difficult times. Thank you for your continuous guidance and protection over my family and myself. Mother Mary, continue to watch and protect your children. Thank you so much for your guidance. Time for one last letter. Dearest Mother Mary, Thank you, Mother, for praying with us every time we call to you for help. We, 
intercessors meet in church every Tuesday morning before the MCO, lifting up petitions for healing, reconciliation, financial guidance and hope. We now meet virtually via Zoom to pray the rosary and intercessory prayers. Many of our petitions have been answered through your intercessions. Some of them were miraculous. Thank you very much. I too would personally run to you for help with concerns and you will silently impress upon my heart. Do as he tells you. Slowly but surely, I would be drawn to take guided steps and my prayers answered. Thank you, Mother. Mother, thank you too for bringing me closer to Jesus, my God and my Lord, your grateful child. There are so many letters, but we can only read just a few and share with you. Let us now continue with our prayer of confidence. Mother of perpetual help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us now share with Mary a prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, his mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for, for giving us Mary to be our mother. She's so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding, so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Let's now have this hymn, a beautiful hymn, to Our Lady. Said the Angel.
As we have just celebrated Pentecost, I would like to share with you some reflections, some thoughts on Mary and the Holy Spirit. First of all, Mary is a very, very special person. From the age of three, she was sent to live in the temple because her parents and, and Joachim were grateful to God because as they grew older, they were gifted with this child. And in thanksgiving, they offered Mary to be consecrated to God. And Mary spent a lot of her childhood until the age of 12 in the temple, learning the Torah, learning the scriptures, learning the Jewish traditions. Mary was consecrated as a virgin to the Lord and her focus and her mission was spent on building her spirituality and Mary grew in wisdom but from the very beginning the spirit was with Mary and as she continued to live a holy life and opening and learning the scriptures she would have come across the passage from Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, where the prophet Isaiah prophesied to King Ahaz that God will send a savior born of a virgin to redeem and save his people. And like all Jews, they will be wondering, who could this Messiah be? But Mary had no idea that the angel would come to her and bring the good news to her. Mary was blessed and chosen. Anyone who is blessed and chosen will be strengthened by the Spirit. Look at all the prophets of old, the people from the Old Testament and the New Testament. Look at the lives of Abraham, Moses, Joseph, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, the evangelists. They were blessed and chosen not to have a luxurious and comfortable life. They had a mission. So when Mary was blessed and chosen, she was told that the Spirit of God will be upon her. And yet her first initial reaction was that of 
fear, of apprehension. She said, this cannot be. But the angel tells her, Mary, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. And Mary realizes if she says yes, God will accompany her because God is faithful each time he calls any of us for mission. And when Mary finally realizes this wonderful calling, she praises God in this beautiful prayer. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. And whenever we are called in life to do something in the name of God, in the name of charity, whatever we do gives God the glory. My dear brothers and sisters, we've all received the Holy Spirit. We've all received the anointing. We are blessed. And now we are called like Mary to be the perfect disciples and perfect witnesses. But he doesn't leave us empty. He gives us the fruits of the Spirit and gifts of the Spirit that allows us to be good and faithful disciples. Let's celebrate Pentecost. We are Pentecost and an Easter people. And like Mary, we must discern the will of God and glorify God in the best way that we can, by the way we love, the way we live. Let's now pray for the sick together. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your suffering. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Please join with me this prayer for the pandemic. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let's now pray for the Pope's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. have given them bread from heaven. Let
let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. We hope to continue these novenas with your support. I must thank the people behind the scenes that filmed this and helped to put this whole beautiful novena together. Thank you for your letters that you have sent in. And we are going to end by pay paying a tribute to a very good singer and a composer. His name is the late Michael Jackson. And because whatever is going on in this world, I think this song is so appropriate. Heal the world. See you next week.
I feel you are on my brain. 